everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another video part of my wedding series here on my channel and today we're going to be talking all about wedding decor and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the items that I used in my wedding and I'm also going to talk to you guys about some of the Etsy vendors that I used as well. I found a lot of great stuff on Etsy so I thought I would make this video to kind of share that with you guys in case you're planning your own wedding or you know someone who's planning their wedding. So I really hope you guys find this video helpful. Also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button. That way you're notified when I post a new video. If you guys are interested in watching, just stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have a little bit of everything. I thought I would just come here today and just kind of share with you guys kind of the big pieces, kind of the big things that stood out to me um, in my wedding and kind of the stuff that just really just brought everything together so I put together like a little list of things that I wanted to share with you guys um, of wedding decor stuff um, so if you guys aren't familiar with my channel or if you haven't seen my other videos um, part of this wedding series which I will link down below if you haven't seen that basically we got married in September and we had kind of like an outdoor ceremony like a garden ceremony and then we had an indoor reception so a lot of the decoration that I'm going to share with you guys has to do with the ceremony, ceremony part of the um, wedding. I do have some stuff from the reception as well, but most of it was from the ceremony. I really wanted the ceremony to just kind of stand out and just be the focal point of the wedding just because that was the most important part of the wedding, I feel like. Um, and it was just beautiful. It was gorgeous. So I loved it so much. So basically, we had an outdoor ceremony. Um, and I'll insert some clips here so you kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. But basically, um, we had an altar, and the altar was already there from the venue, and it was just green. It had a lot of greenery on it, and there were like pillars and stairs, and it was just gorgeous. So um, I kind of wanted to play off the outdoor um, theme of the wedding with a lot of like wood pieces and then flowers and things like that. So. One of the things that I knew that I definitely wanted in my wedding was a welcome sign and something that, to, something that would stand out um, and kind of guide um, our guests to the actual ceremony, um, actual to their actual seats. So I ended up getting two different kind of like entrance signs that we use and I'll show you the first one. So the first one was this one here and this one just said wedding and it was kind of like a little arrow and it was kind of, you know, kind of big. Um, but this one I actually didn't get off of Etsy. This one I actually found at TJ Maxx and it was a great, great product. It didn't come with the moss or the flowers. It looked like this and this was a great piece just because it was a great way to kind of guide our guests to the ceremony. Um, so this kind of stood out by the parking lot and then just guided everyone um, and showed them where to go. So I really, really like this. So this was one of the signs that we had. Um, this one was fairly inexpensive um, at TJ Maxx. So if you are getting married, I would definitely encourage you guys to go check out um, discount stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, even Ross, anything like All that. Right, and the other sign that we had was an actual welcome sign. And this one I did get off of Etsy. Um, and this is what it looked like. Basically, it just said welcome on it. And it had like our names and our date on it as well. So this is just, you know, like the typical wedding sign. Um, what we did to this one to kind of spruce it up was add a flower arrangement on here. And this actually sat on an easel um, by the entrance. So basically, once they were guided to the ceremony place with the wedding arrow, then they saw this one with the flower arrangement. And this was really nice. I love this. This is actually a piece that I re definitely, definitely wanted to get because I wanted to hang it up in our house. Um, so yeah, so this one I got off of Etsy and I will go ahead and put the Etsy vendor's name right here um, and also put their link down below. But they, um, they were really great to work with. The only thing about this sign was it did take kind of a long time to arrive. And I don't know if it's because they just kind of go by... Um, by the date of your wedding because they ask you, you know, what the date of your wedding is, of course, because that's going to go on the sign, but I feel like they kind of go off of off of that um, for production. So it did kind of take like a month, I want to say, or even a month and a half to arrive, um, which was 
okay, I mean, we didn't need it right away, but just that's definitely something to know um, when you're getting customed um, signs. Although some of my other signs did arrive fairly quickly, but this one, since it was customized with our names and our date on it, it did kind of take a long time. And this was actually the large. Um, they had a medium and a large, I think, and this one was the large, so... Um, this one did take a little bit so longer. Another sign that I got off of Etsy was this one here, and this was a three chord um, strand sign. And basically, this has a biblical meaning behind it, and it has a Bible verse that says, A chord of three strands is not easily broken. It's from Ecclesiastes 4.12, and it did have our names on it as well, Paul and Ricardo. So basically, it's talking about um, having God as a center of a relationship and basically each strand represents um, um, Ricardo, myself, and God in the middle. So, and so basically what this just kind of represents that um, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. So basically a relationship with God in the center is not easily broken. Um, so yeah, so we had this at the altar of our wedding and our ceremony and I love this. This was definitely something that I wanted to keep because I want to hang it up in my house as well. Um, so it's something that we are definitely, definitely um, gonna have so yeah so this is what it looks like and I got it and I got this sign off of Etsy as well so her name was the loggers daughter so yeah so this was in the medium size so I know they have a size larger than this um, and then this is a medium but this was actually just perfectly fine with us I thought it was actually bigger than what I expected which was really nice and you could also pick the color of the strands that you want um, so they had all types of colors so yeah so I really like this and this also had her names on it. Um, this one actually didn't take that long to receive. I think it was only about like two to three weeks. Um, but it definitely comes sooner than that. So I like this one here. So the next set of signs were actually eight signs that we had running across our aisle. So basically what we did, um, we had, you know, our aisle and we had eight rows. So we actually had all the signs um, laid out kind of like leaning against one of the chairs so we kind of alternated we did four on one side and then four on the other side um, and it was really really nice it's something that I have seen that I really really loved um, and if you guys aren't familiar with the Bible verse 1 Corinthians 13 basically it's the Bible verse about love and it talks about how love is patient love is kind it doesn't envy it does not boast it's not easily angered keeps no record of wrong and it ends with love never fails um, so this is basically what they look like this is the first one that we had and then the very last one just said love never fails on it so we just had these across our aisle and I'll insert a picture here so you kind of see what I'm talking about um, but I love these signs just because they were a great way to walk down the aisle and just be reminded about what love is really about um, so I really like this um, we had these you know against the chairs and then we had some like flower petals um, around the signs so these I also got on Etsy as well um, and the vendor for this was Vera and Harper. And I got them, let's see, I ordered them in August. August 3rd, and I got them on September 8th. So this, these also took like about a month to get as well. So basically anything that you're going to get customized or anything that has to be handmade, which is most things on Etsy, definitely give yourself enough time to get it. Um, of course, you can rush um, ship some things. But, you know, of course, there's going to be an extra charge for that. So just give yourself enough time. Um, but, yeah, I really, really love these. These are something that we um, definitely wanted in the wedding just because it was just a cute little touch. And we also going to hang these at our house as well. And another thing that I got off of Etsy was another sign. And this was my Here Comes the Bride sign. And this one I thought was adorable. It looked like this. It just says, Here Comes the Bride on one side. And on the back it says, And they lived happily ever after. So we had my little nephew carry this down the aisle, and basically he carried this, um, here comes the sign um, side of it before I walked in, and then when we all walked out, he carried out the, and they lived happily ever after side of it. So I really like this. I got this on Etsy from Wood Sign Studio, and I'll link them down below as well. And this one, I ordered it on August the 12th, and I got it on August 31st. This one was a little bit quicker to ship um, and to arrive, so I really like this one. All right, and the next couple things that I'm going to share with you are also some wedding decor pieces, but they weren't off of Etsy. These are kind of things that we kind of made at home. 
which turned out amazing and I was so happy with them. Um, the first things um, that we made were our favors and basically for our favors we decided to go with soaps. Um, if you've watched my wedding theme video, I talk about how lavender was one of the things that I definitely wanted um, to be part of the wedding. Not only the color, but also the flower and the scent and everything about lavender. I really, really like lavender. Um, so what we decided to do was find some lavender soaps and we wrapped them up and that's what we gave as our favors. Um, so this is what they looked like here. They were just adorable. Um, basically the soaps came in a box of their own and what we did was just um, wrap them up. I had help from my sister-in-law. Um, she really, really helped me wrap these up. So, and so my brother made these stickers that say, Colin Ricardo, Sabbath, September 24, 2016. Then we found these um, lavender sticks at Hobby Lobby, which we cut up and then added some twine. So they were super, super adorable. Basically what we had these, um, we had them actually laying in an antique suitcase and I found this suitcase in an antique store for I think it was like 30 bucks um, and we just had it you know opened and then had all the soaps in it and we just had them out and we had a little sign that said favors so our guests could take some but yeah they were just adorable they still smell like lavender which is amazing because it's been what three months now um, but yeah these were our favorites all right and another thing that um, we made for decoration were these cute little mason jars with some lavender in it as well and basically these hung on shepherd hooks in the aisles. So we had the 1 Corinthians 13 signs kind of leaning against the chairs and then on shepherd hooks every other aisle we had um, these mason jars hanging and basically we just bought the mason jars I think at Hobby Lobby we bought some twine we bought some burlap some lace and then we ordered these lavender sticks off of Amazon um, they came um, it did take a little bit of a while to get here but we also found some other ones at Hobby Lobby which worked out really nicely so basically these just hung like this on the you know on the shepherd hooks and they were just adorable I think they are super cute they turned out great um, and yeah, we, I think we had about eight of these, and then we had, you know, the signs. So. so another little touch that we made at home were these, thank you for sharing our first meal as Mr. and Mrs. sign that we had on the table. So we had these, I think it was every other seat. One seat we had like a napkin with a lavender stick, and then another seat we had one of these. Um, and basically my brother made these at home, and we just found some cool texts. Um, we cut them up in just kind of like little tag shapes and then added some twine to them. So they were just adorable. I saw that they sold these on Etsy as well, so I'm sure you can find them like if you want to just buy them. Um, but definitely you can also make them yourself. So they were super cute. It was just a cute little way to just thank everyone for being there um, and sharing our first And meal. another sign that I found at Marshall's was this one here. And this one actually stood at the entrance of the aisle. Um, it's kind of really, really big, but it's this one. I can't even like put my head up. Um, but it says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. And it's a Song of Solomon's 3-4. And basically it's a Bible verse. Um, and I just loved it. I loved having a lot of Bible verses in our wedding um, but this one stood out um, kind of like out in the entrance of the aisle and there was just some flower petals around it and what I loved about this sign though it could stand on its own so it had you know its little legs right here and, and it was just a great little sign to have in the entrance and I found that one at Marshall's and I think that one was like 25 bucks it was fairly inexpensive and then the next signs that we also got um, or actually made were these here um, and these were just little chalkboards um, we had one for our gifts and a cards table and then we also had one for signing our guest book and these we just got at Hobby Lobby and we just kind of got the, the chalkboard markers and just kind of wrote what each one was for and then this one here was a little bit bigger and this one was for our highlight your favorite Bible verse table so basically we had a Bible laid out at the wedding on a cocktail table and we just had everyone highlight their favorite Bible verse and it's the Bible that we're gonna have at our and home. lastly I wanted to share with you our centerpieces and I'll insert a clip here 
And basically for our centerpieces, we had tall cylinder vases, um, also wrapped with burlap and lace, and I had hydrangeas, and then also some faux flowers in them as well. And they were just kind of like twigs, um, blended in with the actual real hydrangeas around them. And I thought it was a cute way to just kind of bring the whole table together and bring kind of like the outdoorsy feel indoors um, with the twigs and with the hydrangeas. So we had those around the table and then we just had a number of signs at each of the tables. So Lastly, one other thing that I did want to share with you guys was our vowel books that we use. So basically Ricardo and I wrote our own vowels and we wrote them in these vowel books. And these vowel books I also got online. I got them at Paper Punched and um, it was an Etsy shop online as well. I got those super quick, like within a week. Um, and basically they customized them and wrote our names and our date on them. So I got those on Etsy. So I'll insert a picture here so you can see what they look like. But basically they just kind of went with the whole theme of the wedding. And they were just a great way to read off our wedding vows. Um, and then a great way to kind of keep them forever. Alright guys, so that was everything for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Please let me know if you guys have any questions regarding any of the Etsy shops um, or wedding decor in general or just anything wedding related. I was thinking I could do like a wedding Q&A video um, to kind of finish off this wedding series. I do have one more video or maybe two more videos <laughs> to go um, to finish it off, but I definitely wanted to see if you guys were interested in a Q&A video. Um, you know, to kind of close off this series. If you guys are interested, make sure to leave me a question in the comments down below. And if I get enough questions, um, I'll be sure to film that for you guys. And if I don't get enough questions, then I will just be sure to answer back to you guys um, regarding your questions. But definitely if you want a Q&A video, leave me a question down below. That way I know kind of what you guys want me to answer. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. And also, please make sure to thumbs up and like this video if you guys like these type of videos. Remember that you guys are all beautifully and wonderfully made, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.